frustrating was it just to have to deal with that injury right at the start of preseason and just kind of yeah. set everything back for you? It was really frustrating. Uh, after all the work you do during the summer and then come in and have injury during uh, training camp or before the season, it's just a setback that nobody wishes it happens, but it happens and you get through it. How did you? How did it feel to be back out there for the last two games? Uh, the first game, I was exhausted. I'm not gonna lie, that was rough. But <laughs> the second game, I got my wind back. I started just getting into the flow of the NBA pace and the NBA game, and just got back to my groove. Jared, not that the team is close to whole. Right. Can a four-game road trip like this be beneficial for the group? Uh, absolutely. Uh, everybody knows when you go west, it's a different playing field. You know, different types of teams. However you look at it. Uh, just putting us up against different competition, uh, not in our home court, not in things we're used to, so it's definitely going to challenge us. You did not play, obviously, in the first meeting against OKC, but Chet right. Holmgren kind of showed his versatility, seven mm -hmm. blocks, but right. also three right. four from three. Mm -hmm. uh, what have you made of his adjustment to the NBA and right. uh, how he makes things challenging on both ends of the floor? It's always amazing when somebody that tall is that skilled and fluid. To uh, be honest with you, I don't know too much about him, but just watching his game, he does it all. And that's what you can ask from anybody that size. That's the prototypical big that the modern era is moving towards. It feels like you are the safety blanket, as JB called it, for this team. And you're right. coming back, kind of eased everybody in, and mm -hmm. especially Evan. Right. How have you seen him grow, not only since you've been back, but this season? And right. what do you look to bring to kind of bring this calming factor to everybody? All right. Uh, first with Evan. Uh, he's grown every single day that he's been here. Now he's bringing the ball up the court, you know, not even passing it and going to dunk it on the other end. You know, that's not something you see every now, every day, except for Chet Holmgren, you know. <laughs> but uh, but uh, for me, just I'm there to do whatever the team needs me. Uh, I'm there if they need me to block shots, if they need me to, you know, switch one through five, if they need me to bring the ball up, I'll do whatever they want me to. It seems like you, you and Evan being kind of like the twin towers in the paint makes it a lot easier mm -hmm. for everybody else and also on the defensive end. It just makes it so people can be more aggressive on the three-point line. What right. is that knowing that you two are kind of the pinnacle? Uh, uh, it has its ups and downs, you know, because I know everybody gets lazy when you have the safety blanket in the back, but that's what we're here for. I think last year we had uh, top something defense, you know, one of the best defenses. So if it works, you know, why change it? And I'm willing to be that safety blanket if they need to fall back on me. That's my job, and I'll do it. We haven't really gotten the chance to ask you about kind of the new spacing that the team has this year now. Right. Um, with Max, with George, and Ty when he's healthy and all that, like, mm -hmm. how does that change things for you? And how right. have you seen even from afar how that's affected him? Uh, it changes the game in terms of spacing. Whenever you have guys that can make shots, everybody's worried about their man. So let's say on the pick and roll, that will leave me wide open for the dunk or something. Or if they collapse, I can confidently hit Max in the corner for him to knock down a three. Can I ask what's going on with your left hand, by the way? You, you, you're going to that a lot. You, you had like, uh, two floaters the other night. You shot a free throw on Friday. <laughs> uh, left hand is nothing new. I, you, you have to be surprised. I always like shooting the left hand. Go back all last year. If I make a left hand floater, you'll see the left hand pop up out of nowhere. <laughs> so keep on looking for that. With the NBA not having any games today, the lot of you guys have played. How important is that to you just to have right. the league uh -huh. empower you guys to make sure you have the opportunity to have it? Let your voice be heard. Yeah. It's very important. Um, you hear a lot of excuses from people, not talking about anybody in particular, but just, oh, I don't have time to go vote. I got to go to work to get work today, or just having a busy schedule. And just the NBA taking a acknowledge to the obstacles that don't let people vote. Uh, it's good that they're opening the doors for that. And on a broader horizon, <laughs> or half your subject, I Yes, say. I love that. You said you're uh, broadening your horizons during uh, media yes. day after asking about yeah. the, the, the <laughs> Pokemon. What is broadening your horizons? Uh, I just finished uh, Lord of the Rings Fellowship <laughs> of the first book, and uh, it was a slog, you know, but it's just broadening my horizons. <laughs>